In this video, we'll take a look at a typical Google Classroom and Google Docs workflow, paying particular attention to the ability to add comments, both via text and audio, within a Google Doc. We'll begin over in Google Classroom. On the left-hand side here, I have the Teacher view, and on the right-hand side, the Student view. So the first thing we need to do as the teacher is create the assignment for our students. So I'm going to tap on the plus button and create assignment. And we'll make a very simple assignment. We'll call it Written Reflection and we'll write some simple instructions. Please create a new doc and write a one paragraph reflection on today's lesson. We can select the due date and assign it to our students. And there's the assignment. Notice I have zero students who have completed it and one who has not completed it. Now let's drag this over and take a look at the student view for a moment. So remember on the right hand side here I'm logged in as a student. Now my stream says that there aren't any posts. However I have this little update here that says the stream was updated. So I'm going to show those updates. And there's the assignment. Now as the student I can tap open to view and get started on the assignment. I can read the instructions and if I want to I can add a comment for the whole class or a private comment between myself and the teacher. But I'm ready to get started on this work. Now remember the assignment said create a new doc, a new Google Doc. So I'm going to select the Create button here and select Docs. And what Google Classroom is going to do is generate a new Google Doc for me with the title of the assignment and my name attached directly to it. And once that attachment has been created, I can click on it and begin working. So I'm going to add some text here for my assignment. And there we go. And so I, as a student, am here working on my assignment. Now let's take a look at the teacher view at the same time. So on the right is my student's work, and on the left I'm still logged into Classroom. As the teacher, I want to go into the assignment. I'm going to make this bigger for a minute. Okay, now as the teacher, I'm going to go into the assignment, and I can see all of my students' work right here. Now even though Anne has not submitted her assignment yet, I can peek in on it and see how she's doing. And so you'll notice that we're both logged in at the same time. The teacher on the left and the student on the right. And I know that that's happening because for the teacher view, I see that the student is on by this small icon up here. And for the student view, I can see that the teacher is on by this icon right here. Now, let's say I'm reading her work while she's working on it, and I'd like to leave her some comments. For example, on this first sentence right here. So I can actually highlight this and tap on the comment button and add a comment. Now what you'll notice is on the right hand side, you can see this happening in real time. In fact, if I click on this, let's spread this out, I can view that comment that my teacher just left. And as the student, I can even reply directly to my teacher. And we can go back and forth and have a threaded discussion around our document. Keep in mind, this document hasn't even been turned in yet. So this is all focus on the process of writing rather than on the product at the end. Now wouldn't it be nice if, as the teacher, you could leave comments with audio recordings instead of just text? It would make it faster and it would create a personal connection between yourself and the teacher. Now Google Docs isn't able to do that built in. However, we have an add-on installed in Google Chrome that allows us to do it. And that add-on is called Read Write for Google Chrome. And it can be seen right here with this icon. If you don't have this icon right here, you may see it over here in your toolbar. Either way, you can tap on that icon to access a whole bunch of different tools that can be used in the web. One of those tools is the Voice Comment tool. So just like before, I'm going to select a paragraph, a sentence, or even just a word that I'd like to comment on. And with it highlighted, I can tap on the Voice Note button. And you'll see that Read Write for Google has brought up this recording pane. And here I can tap on the microphone icon and begin recording a note of up to one minute in length. Let's record one now.
You're doing a great job, Anne. Keep up the good work. Once you've recorded your audio note, you simply tap on Insert, and Read Write for Google will insert that audio note just like it would any other comment. And you can see it right here. I can hit the play button to listen to it, and so can the student. You'll notice on the student side, here is the uh, link to the audio comment. I can tap on it. You're doing a great job, Anne. Keep up the good work. And listen to the comment. And as the student, I can reply directly to that audio comment. One important thing to note is that if you're using the iPad to access Google Docs, voice notes will not be accessible directly within the Docs app. For example, I have a voice comment attached here, and I can tap on it and see that voice comment. However, you'll notice I don't have a play button here. Rather, I have a link that will take me out to the internet in either Drive, Chrome, or Safari, where I can hear the voice note. You're doing a great job, Anne. Keep up the good work. Now, let's say the work has been completed and the student is ready to turn in her assignment. Anne can simply tap on the Turn In button at the top of the Docs page. And now all Anne needs to do is tap on the blue Turn In button within Google Classroom, confirm, and her assignment has been submitted. Let's take a look back at the teacher view. You'll notice in the teacher view of Google Classroom, I now have one completed assignment. Now there's something important to note here. When Anne turned in that work, she lost ownership of that document, meaning the ownership was transferred to the teacher. This prevents Anne from editing the work once it's been submitted. Now the teacher can come in and select the assignment and add more comments, add grades, etc. But it won't be until the teacher selects the student and taps return that the student can get access to edit the document back. So this is how we can use Google Classroom and Google Docs to interact with students and put an emphasis on the process of writing and creation rather than on the final products. You can use comments built into Google Docs to leave text comments, or the features within Read and Write for Google Chrome to leave audio comments. It's a great way to interact with students and focus on the process of creating great content.